What's up guys, Phantom here back with episode 33 of my F1 2019 career mode as we are going to Hockenheim for the German Grand Prix for round 11 of season 2. Welcome back to qualifying where we're waiting for the lights to turn green in the pit lane to signify the start of the session here at the Hockenheim ring for this weekend's German Grand Prix. Now then, Anthony Davidson, you're not getting any younger, but you have been involved in your fair share of qualifying sessions in a, an illustrious 30-year career. How do you deal with the pressure when you have that one chance to deliver a perfect lap? It's not so much about dealing with the pressure, it's more about how you approach the risk and just how much of it are you willing to take. You're constantly balancing the car on the edge of grip from braking, cornering and traction. And over the course of a lap, it's easy to get that balance wrong. And that's why achieving the perfect lap is almost impossible. As you say, I've been doing this 30 years now, and it never gets any easier. As we start out here in Q2, as we are exiting the stadium section onto the finish straight to start our flying lap here, as we cross the line, as we are going to turn one and barely cut turn one, which is the normal racing line really through turn one there as we come to the end of the lap here make sure not to run out wide and do a ghastly as we are going to come across the line p4 and finish p5 in the session as our teammate butler has also made it to p uh, q3 as well as we move on to q3 here as we go wide through the penultimate corner here as we come on to the finish straight to start our flying lap which will be our only lap in Q3 here as we take and cut the first corner again as we come through the third sector here we almost we were pushing really hard and almost lost it and the gravel there as we are really trying to push here as we go a little bit wide through the last two corners here as we push out really wide and lose the front end as we will finish P2 as our teammate is P5 as Vettel is half a second quicker than us in uh, P2 as he was apparently really flying he must have gotten a really good toe down that front stretch as we move on to the race. Good afternoon and welcome to a place that is very special to us all in the Formula One community. It's the Hockenheim ring, home of the German Grand Prix. Always good for a close scrap is Hockenheim. Think back to Alonso, Ricardo, Vettel as recently as 2014, and I'm expecting some more strong racing today. We're racing in the Rhine Valley this weekend at the home of many of the sport's finest competitors. The 2.8 mile Hockenheim ring requires precision through the technical stadium section and great raw speed down the long flat out curve towards the popular overtaking zone of the turn six hairpin. Watch out for a lot of wheel-to-wheel -wheel action there today. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Why don't we start by talking about Carlos Sainz? As ever, the threat of unreliability is never far away, and indeed they'll be starting out of position today due to a power unit component change. So it's going to be a difficult task to move forward from there. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion and a Haas alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Devon Butler and Perez, Leclerc, Norris, Raikkonen, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Verstappen, Albon, George Russell, and Kvyat, Stroll, Sainz. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Nico Hülkenberg and Kevin Magnussen. Weber and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. As we sit here on the grid in P2 after a very good qualifying performance yesterday as the five lights are out and we get a really good jump on Vettel here and we're automatically two is inside there as we have the preferred racing line as he's going to go around the outside and then I don't know break uh, since the AI don't know how to use anything else other than the racing line as 
it looks like he's already back to fourth position as the Mercedes have jumped him. As we move on to lap two here in the middle sector, we're going to go deep and allow Hamilton to get right back on our gearbox here as we go through this fast right-hander and we're going to miss the apex with that, uh, Hamilton on our mirror and he's going to go around the outside which is not going to be possible there into the hairpin there as we go into lap three and we nearly do the same thing as we did in qualifying as we move on to Lap 5 here as Leclerc has gone past both of the Mercs as Leclerc was not the Ferrari I expected the battle as he we tried to give him a squeeze there but Vettel was supposed to be the one that was vet, uh, battling for victories as he was half a second quicker as we look around the outside at the hairpin. As we go into the pits at the end of this lap and we lock up a little bit as we are able to just get our speed under the limit as we come in and it looks like we're going to be the only one to come in at this moment at this lap as a bunch of cars are past me as it looks like Ricardo's going to get past me as well as we come down to the back straight here he did not get far enough ahead and we will easily overtake him for 18th place there as he, everybody I think is yet to stop it there looks to be a ton of cars in the pit lane here as it looks like Baltas and Leclerc has stayed out another lap but there is Hamilton as we have gotten ahead of him still we did not lose any time as Hulkenberg comes into the pits and kind of semi blocks us there a little bit trying to get into the pits as we come down the front it looks like Russell has not pit and will stay out another lap as Leclerc has come out pretty far ahead and we need to get ahead of Russell as we dive bound down the inside and lock up and we really didn't have a chance there as that's going to put us under pressure from Hamilton there as we really need to get ahead of Russell if we want any shot of winning this race as Russell absolutely just parks it on the apex there as he is going really slow and we really need to get past him as we get half a run here and we're going to dive up the inside there as we do not care as Russell has managed to impede Hamilton enough that we are actually out of his range and we will now start trying to catch Leclerc here who sets the fastest lap as it's now 1.6 seconds there on lap 11 lap 12 it's 1.1 we are catching him as we are now we still at 1.1 but we do have older tires as it's on lap 14 as we've got it down to just over a second and our tires are starting to go off as we basically have worn all our tires and cannot get to them as now we have truly on that second to last lap we lost three tenths there as we have actually run out of fuel down the front stretch here as Vettel will not be able to catch us as he is gone on the podium as we finish P2 Ferrari have really pulled it out of the bag today. It's a great win. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I think the key here was just the quality of the racecraft, you know? I mean, how many overtakes did they make overall? I'm sure we have a stat person keeping score somewhere, and it was fantastic to watch, wasn't it? This is a strategic sport at the end of the day, but it's always really gratifying to see close walk battles on track. It's what all the fans are after. Ferrari are at it again, an excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. And the championship leaders secured more points today, pushing their lead out even further at the top of the standings.
So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Well, my driver of the day has to be Charles Leclerc. He was unstoppable out on the track today, weaving through the competition with ease. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari take the lead at the top of the table. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon.